Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, at this point, I already cooked five different dishes with the bluebell leaves and flowers. Uh, the first night, I cooked two different dishes with the bluebell leaves. Uh, the first dish is a Fuyang egg dish with the bluebell leaves together with a tomato and scallion. Uh, the second dish is a chicken dish with asparagus and carrot. Uh, the second night, I also cooked two dishes with bluebell leaves. Uh, the first dish is a Fuyang egg dish that I used both the bluebell leaves and flowers uh, with onion. Uh, the second dish is a dish with stir-fried salmon uh, on a bed of bluebell leaves and onion. Uh, the third night, I cooked another Fuyang egg dish with bluebells using diced onion and tomatoes. Uh, my son loved the bluebell leaves with eggs, so he has been requested for the Fuyang egg dish almost every night. Uh, my friend is a vegan, and she asked me, uh, can I come up with a vegan dish with the bluebell leaves? So I decided to cook this vegan dish next, uh, using mushroom, tomato, and onion to go with the bluebell leaves. Now, I have used this recipe template before for spinach and kale. Uh, the following are the basic steps. Uh, step 1. Spot season the wok. Uh, step 2. Stir fry 1 cup of onion. Uh, step 3. Add mushroom. Uh, step 4. Add bluebell leaves. Step 5. Add tomatoes. Step 6. Stir and cook. Step 7. Add seasonings. Step 8. Dish served. Okay, we are ready to cook. Uh, I started by sauteing one cup of sliced onion. Uh, before that, I spot seasoned the wok to make sure the wok is well seasoned. Uh, please see my video on spot seasoning if you are not familiar with the method. Uh, I use the sliced onion rather than diced onion a bit because I prefer the onion flavor to stand out in this type of dishes. Uh, please see my video on how to cut food ingredients to the size to maximize its flavor. Uh, next, I add uh, one cup of mushroom. Uh, I use portobello mushroom but you can use any mushroom you like. Uh, I stir fry the mushroom until they are slightly soft. I do not want to overcook them. Uh, next, I add the bluebell leaves. The amount that I have added almost completely uh, fill the wok. As you can see, the leaves cook down to a fraction of this volume. Uh, the wok is excelled in this step as no other cooking utensils could have done this better. Uh, I'm cooking in a 14-inch wok. A 12-inch wok simply would not have worked. Uh, I am always amazed by how much the leaves cooked down. A spinach is the same way, uh, but kale is less so. Uh, I next add one uh, Roma tomato that has been slided into uh, wedges. Uh, you can use any tomato that you have on hand, uh, including cherry tomatoes. Uh, the dish is almost done. I add a seasoning mix that contains mushroom seasoning, uh, minced onion flakes, and garlic powder. Uh, you can use whatever seasoning you would like, or just salt and pepper. And now the dish is ready to serve, and the cook time is less than 4 minutes. Uh, I find great pleasure uh, in eating the bluebell leaves. I like the texture and flavor. I'm still surprised how good it is. Uh, so far, I have been mainly using it in stir-fry. However, I heard people have used it in salad as well. However, I'm not much a salad person. Perhaps I will give it a try later. Uh, unfortunately, the bluebell life cycle is pretty much coming to an end. Uh, in about 7 to 10 days, they will just simply disappear. And now we know how much we like it, uh, we will just make an early start next year. Uh, we will miss it, but we are looking forward to it. Uh, thank you very much for staying with me. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to receive notification of my future video postings. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.